Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Aisha Humayun. The first week of the MCN Young Reporters course was concluded on Thursday following extensive studio-based coaching, mentoring, and field activities. The theoretical components of the training was handled by industry experts who took turn to explain the nitty-gritty of the course to the participants in a manner that ensured that the complex world of journalism simplified for the young ones. As a reporter, you're a trader, you're a scientist, you're everything, jack of all trades. You have to know something about everything. So if you decide one day to be a broadcaster, a presenter, we rest assured that it's a good thing you're doing. Okay? People talk about corruption today in the society. You can add your own voice to it. Okay, you are a reporter. You don't report anything except what is the truth. That's what the code says. Now, the second layer, which is much more important, is the one that the religion has placed on us. As Muslims, are we allowed to lie? Huh? No, I'm not. I'm not hearing you people. We're not allowed to lie. That's on a general level. Not even reporting on any issue. You are not expected to lie. Have you? Now, as a reporter, it's even more important that you are not lying. You are a reporter. You get to, let's say it's a wedding. You get to a wedding is going on. First, you take white shots to see the beauty of the whole stage, how many people are there. If you can even take from outside of the event venue. So you take a wide shot to see how the whole venue is set up and everything as wide as you can get. Take, take, take. Then you now go into closer shots. These skills were put to test as the participants were taken on practical sessions to the newly commissioned Abuja Metro Line, the National Stadium Complex, and the Creative Me Training Program at the Anur Mosque. Basic reporting skills, interviewing, and photography skills were tested and displayed by the participants. I, I'm Bilal Bara reporting live from the Abuja Metro, and I'm here to interview one of the passengers about his first experience, whether it's his first experience or not. Salam alaikum wa alaikum wa salam. Please, what you, what, can you tell us your name? My name is Nabil Nasser. Oh, that's a nice name, thank you. Is this your first time boarding the metro? No, this is not. Thank you. Can you tell us some of the advantages, please? Well, at least something like, let me see, hold up, traffic, you won't bother about all those things. So it's okay. That's compared to road vehicle, yes. right? Thank you. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Actually, I was highly impressed. Uh, I've used other trains also uh, in Dubai and other parts of the world. It's just basically the same thing. Okay. Uh, maybe the difference would be the behavior of the people uh, in terms of how to keep it clean and also at the same time uh, to separate. Like in Dubai, you know, there are sites for the women, there are sites for the men. Uh, and uh, here, of course, we have to mix because of the nature of uh, our society. But all the same, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm so proud of this country. And inshallah, we're going to be there. Yes. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi I must say it's a very lovely experience. And the truth is that it's actually my first time on a train in Abuja, actually. Yes, but I've had this experience in other, yeah, in Kaduna, for instance, when I was there, I used the train before. But this is actually the first time. I'm going on a train in Abuja and... Alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Kiyama Jibri and I want to talk about the experience on the train. Actually, it is nice and convenient. Okay, it is nice and convenient and it moves slowly but it's actually fast. I'm going to Kaduna, they've already dropped and those that are going to the airport, they came in. So, the doors are open and they are free to come in and out. Hello, what's your name? Halima. My name is Halima. The train is big. The train is big and it's 
Steven is big and he's very fun. Thank you. It's not overpopulated like all the ones they do in film that you see. It's too much. There's not even some people to even move. But this one is fun. It, there is a lot of space to move around and like be free. You can like get a tour around here. The National Stadium is very beautiful with all the colorful chairs and the grasses. Um, the National Stadium is good for people to run, play, even sit and enjoy. And the, the National Stadium can go up and down. It also has a field for playing football, a track for running, and, and a ch chairs for spectators. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aisha Omar Omar Baba. At least we are now in the National Stadium. The National Stadium looks a little bit on Cape Bo I think it's Omar Zainab Baba. And I'm here right now in Nigeria, the National Stadium. And my expression here, it's fun, but the tidiness is not comfortable. It is dirty and Nigerians need to keep it clean. I'd like to show you the seat where the, um, the fans sit. As you can see, I'm sitting at the bench uh, and it's very comfortable uh, for anyone, any size, any person to sit. Um, and it's, as you can see, it's made of plastic and it's very strong for any size of person to sit here. Um, I'm Bilal Barai reporting live from the National Stadium. We're in the package B area within the National Stadium and behind me is the indoor multipurpose sports hall. It's multipurpose because it's used for basketball and it's also used for volleyball. The program, which is an initiative of the iMedia TV to raise young Muslims that can accurately and objectively report news and events across the world, especially against the prevailing backdrop of fake news and shallow reportage, that is widespread on social media platforms. The program continues at the iMedia studio and Nur Masjid Abuja.